One Day at a Time aired on CBS from December 16, 1975 to May 28, 1984. It revolved around a divorced mother, Anne Romano, who moves herself and her teenage daughters, rebellious Julie and wisecracking Barbara, from their home in small-town Indiana to an apartment building in the big city of Indianapolis. Anne struggles with maintaining her role as mother, while also affording her daughters the freedom she never had as a young woman. And Schneider, the building superintendent, is always there with unwanted advice for the tenants. But what happened to the cast after the show ended? Bonnie Franklin played the divorced mother Anne Romano, who was raising her two teenage girls. After the sitcom ended, she directed episodes of Charles in Charge, Karen's Song, and The Munsters Today. She also returned to the theater, with roles in Happy Birthday and Other Humiliations, Annie Get Your Gun, Love and Guilt, and The Meaning of Life, among many others. She had guest roles in the 1990s on Burke's Law, Almost Perfect, and Touched by an Angel and later played Anne Romano one more time in the One Day at a Time reunion in 2005. She also was an activist for a variety of charities and civic-oriented issues, among them AIDS Care and Research and the Stroke Association of Southern California. In 2011, she reunited with her One Day at a Time daughter, Valerie Bertinelli, on an episode of Hot in Cleveland, and then played a recurring role as a nun on the soap The Young and the Restless. In 2012, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and died several months later on March 1, 2013, at the age of 69. Pat Harrington Jr. played Dwayne Schneider, the friendly building superintendent. After the show ended, he reprised his role as Schneider in a series of commercials in the late 1980s for track auto parts. He also performed on stage in the national tour of Showboat in the late 1990s. Later, he showed up on television in an episode of The King of Queens in 2006. In 2012, he too appeared with Valerie Bertinelli in his final acting role on Hot in Cleveland. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and took a hard fall in early November 2015. He suffered a small brain hemorrhage and spent three weeks in the hospital. He died on January 6, 2016, at the age of 86, which just happened to be his co-star Bonnie Franklin's birthday. Mackenzie Phillips played Julie Cooper, the oldest daughter and sister to Barbara. During the show's third season in 1977, she was arrested for disorderly conduct. Because of her drug and alcohol abuse, she began arriving late and was even incoherent for rehearsals. The producers ordered her to take a six-week break to overcome her addiction, but were ultimately forced to fire her in 1980. She then had two near-fatal overdoses and went into treatment. The producers invited her back to the show, but she relapsed and was fired permanently. She continued with rehab and picked up acting roles on various shows, including The Love Boat, Murder, She Wrote, Beverly Hills 90210, Melrose Place, NYPD Blue, and Chicago Hope. In 1999, she was cast as rock star mom Molly on the Disney Channel series So Weird. In 2009, she wrote her book called High on Arrival, and she also became a counselor at Breathe Life Healing Centers. Most recently, she had a memorable one-season role on Orange is the New Black, and was also part of the reboot of One Day at a Time on Netflix. Valerie Bertinelli played the youngest daughter, Barbara Cooper. In 1981, she married rocker Eddie Van Halen, and in 1991, they had a son named Wolfgang. But after One Day at a Time ended, Bertinelli starred in the film's Ordinary Heroes and Number One with a Bullet. She also did a miniseries called I'll Take Manhattan and has appeared in many made-for-TV movies. She was also the star of two short-lived sitcoms, Sydney and Café American. In the early 2000s, she was also a regular on the series Touched by an Angel. In 2007, she became a spokeswoman for the weight loss company Ginny Craig and appeared in several commercials. She wrote two books about her Ginny Craig diet experience. She landed another hit show with TV Land's Hot in Cleveland, which aired from 2010 to 2015. And more recently, she has hosted several programs for the Food Network. In 2022, she released her book, Enough Already, Learning to Love the Way I Am Today. 
Glenn Scarpelli played Alex, the orphan son of Anne's deceased boyfriend, who moves in during season six, changing the dynamics in the female-dominated apartment. After the series ended, he appeared in the sitcom Jennifer Slept Here and co-hosted the show Fantasy. During the 1980s, he made guest appearances on 321 Contact, Steven Spielberg's Amazing Stories, MacGyver, and The Love Boat. He also released a self-titled pop album, which included the single Get a Love On. Most recently, he had a cameo role in the Netflix revival of One Day at a Time during its third season. Michael Lembeck played Max, a flight attendant that Julie eventually marries. After the show ended, he shifted his focus to directing, with the movies The Santa Claus 2 and The Santa Claus 3, as well as the film Connie and Carla and Tooth Fairy. He also has directed episodes of popular TV shows like Coach, Major Dad, Everybody Loves Raymond, News Radio, Friends, and many more. Lembeck won an Emmy for his work on Friends. He has been married twice and has three children. His second wife is retired actress Lorna Patterson. Boyd Gaines played Mark Royer, a dental student who ends up marrying Barbara. After the sitcom ended, he was in the 1980s movies The Sure Thing and Heartbreak Ridge. He then appeared in many Broadway productions, including The Heidi Chronicles, Company, and the revival of Gypsy. He also took up voice acting and has recorded several audiobooks. During the 1990s, in addition to Broadway shows, Gaines made guest appearances on shows like Frasier, Law and & Order, and Caroline in the City. He continues to act with small roles here and there, and most recently was in the film adaptation of The Goldfinch in 2019. Nanette Fabre played Catherine, Anne's mother, who moves closer to them so they can see each other more. After the series ended, she had guest starring roles on The Love Boat and Murder, She Wrote. She then went on to play mother to real-life niece Shelley Fabre on the show Coach. More importantly, her humanitarian efforts over the years has been a positive force, especially for a hearing-impaired actor. She gave so much time and effort to achieve equality for all types of handicapped and disabled people, including actors. Her final work was on stage in 2007, when she appeared in The Damsel Dialogues, a musical review. She was married twice and had one child. She died on February 22nd, 2018, at the age of 97 from natural causes. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist. While you're at it, hit subscribe and share Recollection Road Entertainment with someone you know. As always, thank you so much for watching.